Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord, I'm the host. Today's topic is, what is the biggest red flag in a new relationship? Well, the first one is that you're putting way more energy into the relationship. You're putting everything ahead of all the stuff going on in your life. They call, you jump, you run, you're there. This is not going to earn you respect from them. So right off the bat, they know they can do whatever they want because you're putting them on a pedestal. You're allowing them to control your every move. If they want to see you, you're available. If they don't want to see you, you'd have to sit back and just take it. This is such a red flag. It's not a good way to start out a relationship because anytime you're in a new situation, there should be a lot of reciprocation. You should both be excited to see each other. There shouldn't be a lot of drama. There shouldn't be questions, when am I gonna see them again? Oh my God, am I gonna have to wait two weeks again? You want somebody that's excited to see you. And if they're not excited to see you, that is your first clue. That is the first indicator that this relationship is not going to run a full course. This is something well, this is actually the reason why we date. We date because we're eliminating as we go along. Now, sometimes we're lucky and we date one or two people and we meet a great person who we share our life with, but that doesn't happen for everybody. So you have to be very smart in, in when you go out and date and paying attention to the things that are just going to be problems down the road. Would you respect somebody that you could just kind of play with you know what I mean like just say oh yeah no I don't feel like going out today even though we had plans yeah sorry just not into it would you respect a person that allowed you to do that and I mean would you respect yourself too and that's the thing that if somebody can treat another person like that they're not respecting they're not respecting themselves they're not respecting anybody and that's not a good person to share your life with because they haven't grown up yet. They're not responsible enough. They're just trying to move along life and just have whatever they want at whatever time they want it. This is not something for you to get involved in, no matter how goddamn attractive they are. This is what gets a lot of people into trouble because if you meet somebody that's very sexy and you have this really cool, lustful connection with right away, of course you're gonna let things slide, right? Because, oh my God, this is just it's fun for now. But what happens is fun for now often ends up being a heartbreak because you fall in love or you think it's love, but it's probably more sexual lust. And then you get yourself caught in these horrible breakup situations that you have to try keep getting over. If you learn to see the red flags early on, you won't have to go through this. If somebody is not being kind, respectful, calling you when they say they're going to call you, they're waiting two weeks to phone you, not having any reason why they haven't connected with you, or treating you very cool when they do see you and you're just maybe a booty call, this is a person that you want to run as fast as you can away from. Because don't fool yourself thinking that you're going to be able to just have fun for a while with them because these are the situations that usually end up breaking your heart the most. So the biggest red flag in any new relationship is somebody not treating you well. There's no reciprocation. You're the one doing all the work and you're the one that's so adaptable to anything they want. There's no respect for you when this happens because they don't want somebody they can walk over. They want a challenge. They want somebody that that gives them a little bit of a run for their money. We all want that. We don't want to admit it because we think it's a game, but we all want that. We all want somebody that we respect and who respects us. That's just the way it is in a, in a really great reciprocated relationship. So don't settle for anything less. And if somebody's knocking on your door every, like, three weeks or calling you every month and hey what are you doing let's get together and you if you're looking for a relationship no next 
don't put up with it. You don't have to. There's a lot of people out there that are meant to be around you. You don't have to put yourself into situations where they're not good for you. Thank you for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. That was a little bit of a rant, but anyway, we have to have those once in a while. Please leave your comments below, I'm sure you will, and like the video, and please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate all of you who do. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.